T.W. You mad. F. T. W. Broadcasting here for the win, bringing you that hot League of Legends action that you desire. Also posting this up on TGN League of Legends. Thank you, TGN. My name's AWOL, and joining me on this cast is my crew, MBD and KOT. We're bringing you that high ELO match. On average, these are about 2,100 ELO. Let's get with the team introductions. MBD, tell me about your red team. I'm up here on Cannon in the top lane. Well, I got, I got one question. How come we're your crew? Wouldn't you, like, be part of our crew? Dude, Maybe? when you say somebody's part of your crew, you're trying to say that you are you like them. Mm. Are you, do you, you want me to say that yeah, I, don't, I don't like you? Well, I would like you to tell the truth. Well, okay, you ever notice how like AWOL's <laughs> the only one with a name and we're both acronyms? That is true. That's because I, I stick with a one freaking word deal. You guys are all trying to be three words. That's not cool. I'm not trying to be nothing. <laughs> I am all what right. I am. Anyway, team introductions, jerk. <laughs> all right. DKO Sunk. Donkey? Oh, whatever, I can't pronounce things. Cannon at, at the top, Cannon, uh, pretty popular in the top, very popular right, right now as both top and mid. In the jungle, Emus as the pirate. Uh, I'm glad to see the jungle pirate back in uh, action. GG, yay, as the Anivia. Uh, very strong mid, but you don't see her very often. Just too, too slow. Too, too slow. Down at the bottom, Jarvan as the Ijana. And Krypton as the Graves. Uh, Graves obviously super popular even after his quote unquote nerf. And speaking of Graves, let's go to uh, King of Town. You love Graves, right? I do love Graves. I would, he's basically my main at this point. I uh, dabble in some top lane and jungle type nonsense, but he's basically my main. And uh, I love him. But uh, <laughs> in the bottom lane, talking about this again, we have Draven, Poker Star here, hoping to see some solid action from him, having just gone back, playing target. Uh, we're gonna playing Tarek is Torgun the second. That's how I'm gonna read that because uh, everybody should be the something. Torgun the second a... of the Torgun legacy. Yeah, we have a couple really strong. Well, a couple of really strong supports. I can't speak for uh, Draven as a strong AD yet. I just haven't seen him be that effective so far. But that might change. Look at that effective support there from Tarek, really pinning that Jana in. But it doesn't matter. Graves is able to score the first blood, and Tarek gets the kill on Janna. So, red team comes out on top of that exchange. Yeah, not a great trade for the, from them. Uh, yeah, Draven. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this kid. Draven. The, ju jungling for the blue team, we have Dagger playing as Mundo. Mundo, uh, a pretty pretty popular jungler, very uh, very strong in the jungle. Pretty fast clears. Pretty Ridiculously fast clear. Um, really good uh, at counter jungling. So... You know, he's always interesting to see. Ganks are pretty decent, too. Then we have uh, Annabelle, 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 whatever, as Lux in the middle. Neither of us can pronounce things, Danny. There's a little bit of a trend here. Pronouncing's and hard. Pronouncing is hard. Talking is, talking is hard. Um, so Lux, kind of not very a tr traditional AP mid. She uh, can be very dangerous. Uh, I'm curious to see how she'll do against the Nivea. And then in the top, we have Draven's brother, Darius. Um, I don't think that lore is accurate. I think it is. I think they're brothers. Really? I think they are. Huh. They're both Noxians. Now somebody, somebody, uh, let us know in the comments. So. Yeah. Tell I haven't read well. a single sentence of lore. Just, just for the record. Well, so you're just, lame. Yeah. For the record, I think Draven and Darius are both well. Darius has a uh, sort of a reputation for being OP, but I have to say that what he's pitted against other good players in his lane ma matchup is not particularly favorable to him. He, he doesn't tend to do that well. So, you know, I think we have a couple of overhyped brothers in top and bottom, and then the rest of the team is kind of, uh, you know. k hates on Draven so much. Yes, yes, he he's hates like, him. I haven't seen him get eight kills and no deaths yet. He's terrible. I don't like I how you generalize uh, new champs. All new champs look alike, that's how anything. it is, huh? <laughs> All new champions do look alike, and I cannot tell them apart. Uh-huh. Oh, you must be brothers. Oh, I see how this story's playing out. <laughs> you get it, guys? Because it was like something yeah. else. I get it. It was like something else is all he says. <laughs> <laughs> he was about to say it, and then he's like, I don't think I should say what I'm about to say. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so funny. We have a so gank going on bottom here. 
Yes, indeed. It's kind of crazy madness right now. Mundo did pick up the kill. You know, I've hated on Mundo before, his ganking ability. He's not the strongest ganker in the world, but you know, he can get the job done. He really can get the job done as long as you have someone in that lane who's got decent follow-up CC. Yeah, I true. mean, it's all about how he throws his cleaver, how good he is at it. But his jungle clear time is just so absurd. Graves looks like he's gonna go FT. He's going straight for the Nexus. He understands the objective of this <laughs> game to go after the Nexus. Good job, though. The turret got the kill there. Excellent work. Yeah, he managed to delay the period of time between when he last took damage and when he finally died to that turret. So, you know, really, that kind of worked out for him because he had, you know, four champions chasing him and none of them got any credit for that. So he wasted a lot of their time, his time as well. But, uh, you know... Wasting four people's time is definitely more valuable than wasting your own. Yeah, yeah, it was greater than one. Yeah, yeah. Math. The level math. five to seven period. <laughs> that science? Are you science. Sure? I think that was math. Math is a science. Eh, math is an art. Mm, kind of. I mean, it's almost a philosophy. Go look up set theory and then... I don't want to do that. No, you don't. Look something up? No, 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 no. It's all about talking about what you know. Not reading about things and learning. Yeah. Learning is gay. <laughs> it's pretty fake too. I I read that on I read that on Reddit. I did my research. Oh man. This is turning into a troll cast right now, actually. <laughs> Just All right. Out. So We're let's talk about each other. We're not even talking about this game because not much is going on right now. Not much is going on. Hold on, we missed a cannon kill right when we say that we missed the cannon kill top. Cannon popping that heal pot to save his own ass. Taking down uh taking down that Darius. Darius can have a rough time. Can have a rough time with a cannon top. Kennen's so yeah. good with the pokey poke. It works out pretty well. Yeah, I used to play a pretty mean Kennen. I haven't played him in a long time. I need to pick him back up because he's he's fun. He is pretty fun. And it looks oh, like and, uh, uh, there, there was about I don't know. I think a metric ass load of pings there. They knew that uh, they knew that uh, Gangplank was coming to that blue, effectively preventing him from stealing it. Now, how do you like Gangplank in the jungle right now? Do you feel like Gangplank is is viable for really high elo professional matches in terms of jungle? Um, I, I would think so. You don't see a lot of him, but I think he could be definitely viable. His ganks are strong with his, uh, no, excuse me, with, with his slow, so, and he can be, uh, he can get very powerful, so his clear times are, I don't know, they're not great. You are more of a gangplank expert than me, King of Town. Why don't you take this? Well, you know, the thing with gank, I think, in the higher elo play is that, um, there's nothing wrong with this, but... He doesn't, he's not stellar at a whole lot of anything. Probably the strongest thing going for him is his global ultimate, which is very good. His ganks are decent. He, you know, he's, his parlay is a decent little nuke. Um, you know, overall, he's pretty good at a bunch of things, but he's not really, really good at anything. So you don't see him a lot, but he's kind of a Swiss army jungler. And, uh, you know, he can do a little bit of everything. And if, if you play him right, he can, you know, be everywhere he needs to be, be involved in everything he needs to be involved in, and, and really help set the pace of the game. But you just don't uh, see him a lot. I don't think there's anything wrong with him. Let, let me ask you something. I've heard tail. We have uh, see the blue team getting the dragon here as uh, Jonna and Graves are trying to decide what to do, and the tornado from up top. Eh, not quite enough. No, they're not. I don't think there's anything they can do about. It. There comes the global ultimate. And he moves Ooh, the in. That's pirate ult with the Graves, Graves follow up. Ooh, Graves is not gonna do well. Oh, he tried to kill Doctor Mundo. Don't chase Doctor Mundo. That wasn't that's, very. That was not very smart. He he basically engaged one on four. Yeah, don't, don't use your only escape to engage the rest of your the <laughs> team by yourself. You're gonna have a bad time. It's just yeah. not a good idea. No, but his passive. His passive. Oh, his, his passive, passive. His armor. His he passive that he anything. couldn't charge up before he went in because he had nothing to attack. Brilliant. Very, very Why good. didn't I think of that? I don't know, man. It's his passive. He's not supposed to think about it. Uh, I get it because it's his passive. Man, I'm on <laughs> fire tonight. You are on fire. But what I was going to ask you, Kintan, is I, I have heard tail. Just tail. I've, not, I've, not, I've only seen it once, and I've heard tail of what is known as support plank. Yeah, you support, speak to plank, this? support plank is is an interesting. Um, it's a thing. It's it's a thing. It's it's less of a support and more of a sort of a, a kill lane support. Um, you know, oh, we got a little action at the bottom here. Oh, Jana saving her own life for that ultimate. That was a clutch ult. Nice job, Jana. And this Graves is chasing down this um 
Oh, uh, what's his character's name? I forgot. They suck too bad. Draven. <laughs> and Draven's surviving that situation. Luckily, he's got a good Tarek support on board. I'm watching this Tarek. I play a lot of Tarek. This is some really solid, solid Tarek play. Just dunking a dodge in between these bushes. The clutch dazzles. Really, this Tarek is the only thing holding up this lane for blue team right now. This has kind of been some piss poor Graves play, in my opinion. Maybe not piss poor, but definitely solidly mediocre. Ooh, um, talking about the crappy Draven picking up that ultimate kill, that elusive ultimate kill that you almost never see. He got it. He sure did. I'm for oh, him. Oh, Graves with the ignite kill there on Tarek. Blood-filled bottom lane. Now Mundo wants to come in here and clean up the mess, ping in that, Dra look, ping in that Graves. Let's see if um, Draven and uh, Mundo can make this happen. Both of their ADs finally did something. Hooray. Draven way out of position. I have no idea what he's doing. He's running around all these creeps. They're going to secure the kill anyway, but... Uh, well, he was just trying know, to get man. into position to support Mundo. It was just kind of a rough time. Here comes the Nivea going to clean that up. And there's the pirate. And there we go. Oh, this is going to be bad for Dr. Mundo as well, but he'll probably Mundo away. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. fine. He's he'll Dr. Fine. Mundo. Don't chase Dr. Mundo. His Stop ultimate's it. down. Yeah, his ultimate's down. I guess Lux got there just in time. Obviously, if Lux wasn't there, he would have died. Mm, it would have been, it would have been, uh, sticky. But yeah, Draven, he was just trying to move around. Uh, Mundo went in because, well, there was just that was just the time to do it. There was no other time to do it. So Draven decided to follow up and help him. And obviously, the creep, the blue team creeps had all gone away. So rather than tr get it all you know, messed up in the creeps. There is Kenan uh, dealing with that Darius there. Darius ha is having a rough time, it looks like. He is. He's having a tough time. Kenan uh, really able to use that range advantage, even with Darius able to pull Kenan in. Doesn't really work too well on Kenan, Lightning Rush, and all that. Um, uh, Kenan's a pretty decent counter, actually, to Darius. Oh, yeah. Kenan's a very strong uh, counter to those bruiser stop. You see, you see a lot of that. I think that's one of the reasons he's become so popular is as a counter pick to champs like Jax, um, Darius to a lesser extent, uh, even Ooh. Malphite, you know. Just like you say, generally the bruisers, because, you know, poke and harass, poke and harass. You never really give them the opportunity to trade with you, which is what a lot of those duelist type bruiser champions really rely on. Well, and being manalist really sustained up there just forever. Oh, that's, yeah, very true. Very, very that's, true. That's a huge factor, you're right. I gotta point something out here, guys. The Glorious Executioner only has two kills right now. How many does Tarek have? Three. Three kills. Not good. That's fabulous. Well, Tarek is fabulous, but that's terrible, yeah. terrible, terrible. This Glorious Executioner needs to get way more fed. He does not have the fabulous skin, so he's not fabulous. He's just super. No, you're right. That's a good point. Yeah. Pink Tarek skin does make you more powerful. It is. That's a known fact. You're a real man if you pick Pink Tarek skin. Ooh, that's not a, ooh, that was a, almost an unnecessary dive there by Dur uh, Darius. I couldn't believe he was going to do that. Can here Mundo get Mundo. in here? Yes, Mundo ultimating so that he can get the movement speed, get in place. Kennen looks like he's doomed. I don't know. Now Darius yeah. is in tower range. This is an opportunity for Kennen maybe to turn it around and pick up a kill here. But no, he made the wise decision not to do that because Mundo was tailing him from below the tree line. Yeah, you could tell Darius just wanted to go in there, hit him once or twice, get a couple stacks on him, and then use his ultimate. Fortunately for Kennen, he's got all the moves he needs to get out of the way, and um, he just uh, barely got away with that uh, lightning rush, though. Oh yeah, he was about to get hooked. Another blue ping on Kennen, so it looks like Mundo's interested in getting up there once he jacks red teams red. And we'll see exactly what happens there. Kennen is really—he wants to stick around, though. He does not want to go back. Um, Here we go. No, and Mundo I mean, at this point, no. doesn't well, have he can sustain to. with his uh, hex tech. He could probably sustain pretty well. Mundo oh, heading yeah. home. He's lost interest. Well, I think his ulti's down. I think if Mundo tried to go in on Ganon right now, he would probably lose that fight. That was a nasty himself. Draven dive bottom, and he ended up profiting from it. I thought that that was the most foolish thing ever, but Tarek just. <laughs> it, it was a bait. I, I got baited watching it. He baited the crap out of that situation, and Tarek came in at just the right time with the Dazzle Shatter ultimate combo. The clutch heal at the last minute for that deceptiveness. That was a fantastic bait by Draven. All right, uh, and Darius has moved in on the cannon, and there it is, just like he wanted uh, with Mundo. They they were playing in that one for, like, it feels like five minutes. It's probably more like 30 seconds, but it feels like five minutes. Time is relative. Perception is reality. It was five minutes. Yeah, there's that science again. No, that's art. Okay, they're pinging the 
Nope, they're not gonna go for Dragon right now. Interesting. Looks like Tark is roaming. No, he's gonna go ahead and place a ward. Yeah, he just placed a defensive ward there. A counter jungle ward to make sure that they wouldn't get interrupted. He's dropping wards everywhere to make sure they aren't gonna get this Dragon jacked. Well, Dragon is, a da is dangerous. You really wanna get it, but you know. Oh, just very, really, I really uh, like those ward placements there. Like, there's no chance of them getting surprised at the Dragon at this point. Yep. <laughs> Take note, everybody. Really the one right over here by the red team's blue is probably the most most clutch out of all of them. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, well, it basically covers just about every avenue people are going to reasonably be coming towards the dragon from. So, you know, even if they see you, you have plenty of warning. You don't, you know, a lot of times you place the ward right there by the mouth, that, that entry ramp, and you see him coming, but it doesn't really give you a lot of time to react. Right. Well, that one's most clutch too because it leads to the entry ramp, which is the shortest distance from said counter jungle to where your location at the dragon. Nice kill top, Draven is now picking up these kills. He heard me slash taunting him through the internet. Now he's up to five kills, 101 CS. He's starting to get the farm he needs. I'll be curious to see if he does anything different from the sort of standard AD carry build, either, you know, Infinity Edge or Bloodthirster, or Phantom Dancer. And, well, uh, he did just buy an Infinity Edge and he's got a Vampiric Scepter, so. No, would be the answer to that question. I heard that AP Draven was pro right now. Nice job selecting Kennen to stun Kennen there. This Tark is really skilled. That was exactly the person he needed to stun, but it doesn't matter. Mundo goes down anyway. Lux, clutch wall there from Anivia, securing that kill on Lux. Nice pick, nice job, red team, picking up two kills. They're pinging they, they the dragon. They want the dragon, but uh, no, too late. Too Sorry. late. <laughs> All right, mid-tower time it is then. Darius is, needs to be more careful. He, he wanted the, that Janna, he wanted her bad, but that was going to be probably uh, a rough situation for him. He needs to stay back. You don't want to go in 4v1 there at all. No, no, absolutely not. He wouldn't have picked up the kill on her anyway. She had her ultimate. Nope. Yeah. So there's that. <laughs> there's also that, yeah. There are many factors, but mostly that. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about this in Nivea. Anivia's character we've talked about before. Anivia, in my opinion, one of the top three best AP mids. Only at the highest elos, though. I, <laughs> if you want to skill with I Anivia. I, I disagree with that. You I would, disagree. I, I disagree. She definitely, I wouldn't say she's one of the top three AP mids. I think she's a very good um, AP mid, but maybe at the higher elos. Like, in the, you need a super, super skilled player, and she's very, very uh, situational, I think. What Definitely think, not King? top three. What do you think, Kang? You, do you think Anivia's scary? A, go a good Anivia? All, I didn't say she wasn't scary. I said she wasn't top three. That's no, very she, different. She's comp dependent. She's very strong in an AoE comp. Um, but, uh, yeah, she, it really just depends on her comp. She's so slow, she has a hard time keeping up with the rest of the team. If you're not careful, you can really get way ahead of your Anivia and either leave her vulnerable or make it a 4v5. So, um... You know, you just, you really have to, it's, it's just so dependent. She's obviously very scary if played well, but uh, I think that can be generally said for just about any champion, maybe with the exception of, uh, oh, yeah, what's and her how, name? Can, how can you say she's top three in a game where um, Karthus and Morgana and Ari exist? I'm going to disagree. Saying. I'm going to disagree with no, you. You could be wrong. Saying. That's fine. I'm disagreeing with everything you're saying. And also, all, Draven all, is top all the AD. things I just said. Draven's <laughs> top AD. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Alrighty then. So much jibber jabber this cast. I don't know. That's how we do this cast. I don't know. That's, that's, that's just a mood I'm in right now. Yeah. I, I think this this re, this uh, this live game is just kind of slash taunting it out of us. Uh, triple team up top, picking up that kill on Kennen. Goodbye, Kennen. It's kind Bye -bye. of been a slow sort of standard game. So, you know, not a lot of really interesting things going on. Fortunately, we see Cannon doing you no know, something. Oh, maybe that was. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> no, I. There's even know there's some stuff watching. happening, and or maybe not. Wait, hold on, I'm getting reports. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anivia's egg popping. I think Anivia might be able to escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, she's done for. Going down there, and um, it looks like yep. Looks like uh, Graves was forced to run for his life, and Draven unable to pick up a kill bottom. Do you remember when, if you were egged as a Nivea, you could teleport home? Yeah, I remember that. That was good stuff. <laughs> that was really good stuff. 
You couldn't teleport home, you could teleport, but you like, you know, you just teleport to one oh, of the towers yeah, or something. Oh yeah, just teleport to a creeper or whatever. Or, or I think you could teleport to like the Nexus Tower. Right, right. That's balanced. That's yeah, why he's still in the good game. Stuff. Yeah. That's true. You can flash as the egg. That was great. Like, they kill you, you just flash back <laughs> under your tower. It makes so much sense. <laughs> yeah, back nice the pirate day. ultimate there. The pirate ultimate. No, not saving cannon. Didn't matter. Lux would have picked that thing up if Darius's blood had not. Cannon yeah. getting punished right now. Basically, three kills within the last... or I'm sorry, three deaths within the last seven minutes. Yeah, that's not uh, where you want to go. He has not been able to finish a really big item yet either. As you see, he's now picked up a Negatron Cloak. No, he's kind of picking up a smattering of everything. And I have to say, honestly... Okay. That was a poor... <laughs> A poor decision by Graves to charge in head first. Tarek picking up another kill and then Draven getting fed. Average ADs are become above average when they get fed as hell. Ch -ch triple kill! Oh my goodness. I will say that's the first time I've seen a Draven use their ultimate effectively. Notice it was fairly short range, managed to get a couple of champions into it, and he snapped it back as soon as it went past um, basically the farthest target in sight. So he was able to hit them twice, for plenty of damage and, uh, you know, fairly effective. Now they're getting the dragon, but, uh... Well, I mean, why let it roll all the way across the map when you know that you, if you pull it back early, <laughs> you're gonna at least do some damage to somebody? But, I mean, but most... it's a global mm -hmm. ultimate. You have to send it across the map or right, else you're right. wasting it or something. No, that's true. That's what you see from most Ravens. Like, they're, they're like, oh, there's a guy right in front of me in the lane. Let's the freaking ultimate fly all the way to the enemy nexus and come back. It's like really? It's a boomerang. Like let it try to make it hit the target twice at least. Well, yeah, it's an axe you, ring, actually, is what they're yeah, officially it calling it. it. Oh, is it's it really? Right. It's it's an axe ring. Whatever. Yeah. Boomerang yeah. was also tossed around. I believe axe ring was officially voted on though. I, I think would like, I like to call it a. Better. I would I like, like to say batarang, too, but... but Batman's too cool for Draven. Hmm. I don't know. You're gonna disagree? Got, no, no, well, I'm not gonna disagree with that, obviously, but... Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if, we'll see if Axarang catches on. Maybe it has, has already, and I'm behind. I don't know! You You're know, it's always more like a yo-yo, so like an Axio, or a Yo-Ax, or a... Well, it doesn't have a string. It doesn't have to. A yo-yo has it, to have it, a string. Well, it doesn't... True. It doesn't travel in the traditional boomerang path, either, so... Because something comes back to you doesn't make it an axe. I mean, my Let's girlfriend's- Let's make it a boomerang? Or make it a boomerang. My girlfriends always come back to me and- pfft. No, they don't. Something. No, well, that's because I ignore their phone calls endlessly, but- <laughs> Classy guy. <laughs> Come lassie. Any ladies looking for a date? I'm a gentleman for the first, like, three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ah, uh, at least this... he's honest, you know? Well, I, yeah. that's what a real gentleman would say, right? I mean, at least, he's, at least he's telling the ladies the truth, and he, he's showing them the respect him. that they deserve. You could change me. That's, <laughs> maybe you'll be different. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting well, axe rank number two. Town. This is it. I think, guys, given the jibber jabber that's going on in this in this game, I think this might be our, our first official troll cast <laughs> on League of Legends. I think we might have to call it that because yeah. we have not been paying attention to what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, thanks for what I think you guys just watched. Uh, Procasts evolve in the Trollcast live. It uh, it's sort of like a Pokemon evolution. It's it's pretty intriguing. <laughs> you, uh, was it science though or art? Oh, that was science. All you fundies out there, check me. <laughs> check me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, thanks for watching this Trollcast. Um, evidently, it's a Trollcast now. <laughs> evidently, yeah. <laughs> So, um, let's talk about the number one factor. Oh, shit, it's a troll cast. Who deserves the trophy for the match? MBD. Oh, uh, let's see. Trophies, trophies, trophies. Oh, uh, obviously the best champion in all of League of Legends, Draven, with his 10 kills. Fair enough. KOT, That's all I got. <laughs> who deserves the trophy for the match? Generally, the, tro the winner of this trophy, by the way, will win the entire internet. Oh, it's gotta be, it's gotta be 2 6 and oh, Graves. Oh man, Graves, you just... Those head just, first dives, those are awesome. Yeah, just use, <laughs> using your one. only escape mechanism to jump right in the middle of the team. That shows, you got chutzpah. Um, 
You don't is have that, a win. What? You is don't that have more elo. Is that how the Jews put it? I don't know. I don't think you just made a word up. I liked it. You know, in the best, the, really the best part about that flash in, into the 4v1 situation of the dragon was that it was to chase down Mundo. That, 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 <laughs> that was the kicker. True. You, sir, win a trophy and you win the entire internet. Good job, Graves. Spend it, don't yeah. spend it all in one place. Krypton, send us an email. We will send you that JPEG. I'll send J you a JPEG. I might even send you an animated GIF. It Ooh, might wow. have penises in it, though. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's not make too many promises here. <laughs> Um, if it is animated, it will be penises, though. That's all he knows how to draw. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to watch more troll casts, pro casts, whatever, we got a playlist up in the top left-hand corner to all of our League of Legends casts. If you want to check out our channel, top right-hand corner, yellow link, be sure to subscribe. We cast high elo matches in a serious way, pro casts, and also in a stupid way, troll casts. If you want to submit your replay for a pro cast, 2,000 plus ELO, send it on over to us, ftwbroadcasting at gmail.com, video description below, and shit. Why not ask you to send your most ridiculous replay as well? Be sure that you title it Trollcast when you send it to us, and give us a detailed descri description of why your, re your League of Legends replay with spectator mode checked is the dumbest of all time, and we just might catch it, cast it for you. Thanks for casting with me, guys. As always, it's been your pleasure. It really has. Peace out, guys. We'll see you in the next cast. F. T. W.